Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day. So we woke up to snow this morning. It's still snowing. It's a few hours later and I did cover my raised beds in my garden last night as well as some of the flowers in my flower beds and I'm just hoping and praying that everything survives and gets through the next couple of days. We're supposed to actually drop down into the 20s tonight but I wanted to share today some different updates I've been working on in my kitchen. It actually was supposed to just be painting the walls and that project basically snowballed into a much bigger project. I started because we had a shoe organizer by the door. So I got rid of that, which led to I needed to repaint the walls because from shoes being kind of tossed into the organizer, those scuffs and all of that. And I was actually out of the paint color for this room. So I decided instead of just getting that same color mixed up, I was going to paint the walls a little bit brighter white. Because as I was painting around the room, of course I had to move the furniture away from the walls, take everything down off of the walls, the old window, the baskets, all of that. And I really liked how open it felt with just the hutch and my kitchen table. I had moved the sideboard well away from that area and just seeing that made this room feel so much more open and I just loved it. So I wanted to see if the sideboard could go somewhere else in my house. I tried it in the living room, tried it in my craft room. I didn't mind it in those places but I did not like the color of the wood which led me to completely redoing the sideboard. I ended up painting it, distressing it, and staining the top much darker. Darker, and I really like how it turned out. It is in the living room right now and I will show you what that looks like. And that led me to wanting our table to have a much darker top so I ended up staining that as well. And I also had a huge pile of stuff I had to organize and find a home for because the sideboard did have a lot of storage that I was losing in the kitchen. But let me show you where it's at right now. So here is what the corner is looking like right now. I just kind of slightly tilted the hutch, a little bit catty corner, and then I put the table about the same angle and it really just opens up this room. I'm really liking how it looks and you can see I did darken the top of our table and over here is just a box of canning jars. I actually have grocery pickup here in a little while and I purchased a tote so that I can move all of that to the garage. And I have a new mini blind I'm going to be putting up on this window and I'm going to remove all the items off the top of the cabinets. I have to anyway to paint and I think I'm going to like that clean streamlined look a little bit better. And here's another look at the hutch and then I'm going to show you the sideboard, the before and the after. And I would love to know your thoughts on if you think the hutch would look good in this same kind of finish with the white paint that's been distressed and the darker stain on the flat surfaces. So let me know in the comments. So now that I've explained kind of where my kitchen's at, I wanted to go ahead and decorate the table. I had a pretty floral table runner I wanted to use and then I also had purchased a galvanized metal tray that I thought would be perfect in the center of the table and I decided to use the glass vase that I just recently updated in a video. I just took a simple Dollar Tree glass vase use some spray paint and ribbon and I think it turned out so pretty and I really wanted to use it in here as well and I will link that video here and in the description below if you'd like to check that out. I'm gonna work on is changing this mini blind as you can see it sits outside of the window frame and I purchased new ones to fit inside the windows so I'm gonna remove this old one and put up the new one I 
also purchased a mirror that I want to hang on this wall near the door. I thought it would be perfect in this space. It can actually be hung vertically or horizontally and if I can find a link for it, I will put it in the description below. to take a break go get my grocery order because it's ready and then I'm gonna swing by where my daughter works take her some lunch and then I'll come back home get back to work and I'll pick the video back up then So this wasn't a large grocery haul by any means we just needed a few things and bottled water bottled water was the main thing I was after they recently tied into our water line for a neighboring property but nobody knew where our water line was and so it ended up getting broken while they were trying to find it and it just made the water pretty nasty and so for the time being we definitely need some bottled water and so I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I got and put everything away and get back to work. So now that that's done, I'm going to start by removing everything off of the cabinet so that I can finish painting. So good morning, it's the next day. I've had my coffee, had breakfast. I made a bunch of breakfast burritos up for the freezer so that we would have those ready to go and cleaned up all of my mess. And now I'm ready to get back to working on the kitchen. And I think I'm gonna hang the valance up that I had up before. It's basically just some napkins that I had purchased. They're from the Pioneer Woman collection and I really liked how they looked. I just draped them over a curtain rod. So I'm gonna do that real quick and see what I think of that. I do like nothing there, but I think with all of the white that I have going on, I might like some color back there. So let me see how that looks. So to make my valance, I'm simply hanging up a curtain rod and I'm going to be draping some napkins over it. And the first napkin, I'm just simply folding one corner down so that when I drape it over the curtain rod, I have a straight edge going up and down, which is the edge that will go against the wall. And then I'm going to layer the napkins across the curtain rod and mess with it a little bit until I get the look that I want. So I'm really happy with how the valance turned out. I really like using the napkins over a curtain rod because I can move them around until I get the pattern and the design and the look that I really like. It's such a unique and fun look and I think this side of the room really needed that bright pop of color to break up all of the white that I have going on. And I did decide not to put items back on the cabinets because I really like that clean and streamlined look. And I am working on simplifying our home, getting rid of excess and clutter and I just really like how that looks. So now I'm going to move on to the shelf above the refrigerator. Thank you. 
While I am enjoying not having a bunch of items on top of the cabinets, I really did want to decorate this part of the kitchen. And before I had cookbooks and just kind of a hodgepodge of things up here as well as on top of the refrigerator. And so I definitely narrowed that down by a lot and I'm really liking how it's looking so far. So I think for now I'm going to leave it the way it is, think on it a little while, and who knows by the end of the day it might look completely different. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because at this point it's probably getting kind of long. But I would love to know if you enjoyed this sort of video. Please give it a thumbs up to let me know. I'd really appreciate it. I have a lot more projects coming along for the kitchen. I have a new organizer for the pantry. I'm going to be working on that. I also want to work on organizing my refrigerator. I have a table I'm going to be working on and doing a revamp to for by the door and then I may or may not redo the hutch as well and I would love to know your thoughts on that one so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching